that when you when you catch in a team and they play like that, overcome, you know, what was a real blow in the first five minutes, um, you're a really proud man, aren't you? Oh, buzzing over the moon. Um, I think you see tonight at the final whistle and when Angelo scored, what it actually meant to everyone. Like we all got in a huddle. It was em empathises really what we've what we've been about this season. Um, what a buzz and what a win. We're a good team, aren't we? Yeah. You know, we've scored in 11 games in a row, yeah. 14 out of the last 15. It's not yeah. easy to score goals in the Premier League. No. We've got 32 points from the last 19 games. Yeah. That's good form over a yeah. long period. I mean, we're a good team now. Yeah, we're looking a real threat now. Um, obviously, fifth in the table tonight. Mm. Realistically, looking and speaking, I think a group as a group of lads and, and the team and the manager, we know, realistically, away at Arsenal when we shouldn't have lost, should have won that game easily. United last week, ball goes out, it's a different game. That's six points. We'd be in the top four. We'd be up there fighting. Um, and that's just the buzz we've got around the place this season. The confidence is flying, as you can see. Everyone's fighting for each other. Um, and to be fair, tonight, their keepers made four or five worldies. Could have easily been four or five. And I think we nullified them, to be honest. Their game, we knew how good they were, to be fair. Obviously, they're a new team in the Premier League. They play unbelievable football. The style of play following you around is crazy. But... We, we um, stopped them tonight and obviously the win, it's, it's, a lovely, it's a lovely Friday night. <laughs> I mean, if you give a penalty away in the first 90 seconds and then, then they miss it, yeah. and you're, you're, you know, we're, we're like the one buzzing then, yeah. and then the ref's blowing a whistle, then he, they put it on the screen oh. and you can all see it. I mean, it's like three times and then they score, you know, but we come back from it. Yeah, it's carnage. It's absolutely carnage. Um, I was on Sky Sports saying that VAR helped us last week, so... Not going to bad mouth it tonight. <laughs> Obviously, Lucas, he ain't. It was about that much off his line. It's, it's carnage. But look, like you said, to to go one nil down, 90 seconds in, it's not the start we really wanted. The manager weren't happy, but I think the reaction after that was was really positive. We had some great chances. Um, and like you said, Thomas at the big man again with another goal. Mm. And then second half, we looked a real threat again, driving forward. You know, we had to stop them, and, and that's what we done. And. Uh... I could hear you out there on the pitch when we were one nil down, and, and it was a, you know the chances were coming and yeah. going. You can easily lose a bit of heart, especially when leads are swarming forward. Yeah. And I could hear you saying, "Keep going, boys. It's going to come." And yeah, it was. It was because the game was opening up. Mm. You could see that once we beat their first couple of players, yeah. it was an open game for yeah. players like Saeed to get on the ball, Jared to get on the ball. You know, Seb, he could have set me twice, and I would two tappings itchy in the six yard box. I would have scored. Um, but look, yeah, tonight was, was special and special mention to Saeed as well. What a player. Yeah, he, in the first half especially, he's he's perfect sort of player when you've got a team like Leeds because he can keep the ball, can't he? And yeah. just take that pressure off straight away. Yeah, to be fair to him, we, we put him on we put him on there holding midfielder Calvin Phillips. Obviously, we know he's such a good player when the ball's at his feet. Everything goes through the Leeds team, goes through him. Um, and he really stopped him tonight. You know, that was the, the job the manager put on him. But then when he got the ball, some of the stuff he'd done, you just kind of like look back and go, wow, what a, uh, what a, uh, what a player. But yeah, really good. In the second half, Angelo's, I mean, what a header. He's so good. <laughs> he, honestly, like, he's just gone to another level this season. He uh, looks like a real top, top centre-half. He always has been, but this season he stepped up and it's really mattered. And the reason why we're in such good form is because we've got two centre-halves, back four and a keeper that are playing out their skin. And then, I know it's just stupid, but we're 2-1 up. An old West Ham team have probably, you know, maybe panicked a bit, yeah. sat back on the edge of their own six-yard box. But then Angelo's crossing it and Fabian's in the post with a header. In like yeah, the manager yards. shouting, get back, Angelo! <laughs> get, to be fair, it's always horrible going 2-1 up because, you know, West Ham teams over the years would have probably have caved in. Um, I it's horrible, I mean. Yeah, I know, but <laughs> 10 minutes to go, you're looking at the yeah. clock thinking, bloody hell, they're going to throw everything at us and... It could go either way, but just to get that out, 2-1 is unbelievable. And as you said, you know, I think you said before we started, the Leeds fans shown they're not here to beat their team. But yeah. back at home next Wednesday, we'll have, hopefully, our fans will be in. Yeah. Um, just need another, carry on. yeah, need another performance like we did, um, like we did tonight, and obviously like we did against United for 60 minutes. And I think we'll, we'll get it over the line. Merry Christmas. Also, oh. special mention to my mum. Happy birthday, mum. Love you. Um, it was today. She's 54. She don't look 54. She looks 30. <laughs> But love you, Mum. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs>